Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on for Taurus in the next 48 hours? What does Taurus need to know? This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay. Taurus, what's going on? What does Taurus need to know? The Seven of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of opportunities, Taurus. You may be doing a lot of daydreaming. You may be a little spoiled for option here. We have the Five of Wands. Hmm. There's some kind of conflict. The Seven of Pentacles. This may be a conflict at work, Taurus. The Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. The Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Fool. A New Beginning. And the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Okay. At the bottom we have the Six of Wands. So, Taurus, I feel like whatever the situation is, I feel like you have victory already. You're being recognized. People are seeing you for who you are and what you stand for, Taurus. I feel like you're being set apart. Uh, you're being placed on a pedestal with this energy I feel like you're really being viewed if you have social media I feel like a lot of people are watching you a lot of people are taking notice to what you're doing or what's going on in your life Taurus I feel like you're definitely being noticed in some way and with this seven of cups energy I feel like there may be too many choices for you to make um, you may have a lot of opportunities that are before you at the moment. You may have a lot of options. This could also be something in your life that you're just not committed to. You just don't want to give your full attention to at the moment. Um, but I feel like there's some kind of conflict with this Five of Wands energy. There's something going on that's giving you some kind of challenge, some kind of obstacle. This could also be something that's competition. Um, something you're competing for and this may be work since we have the seven of pentacles here this could be something that you're working on some kind of project that you've got going on uh, but I feel like whatever this is this is you feel like you're working towards it it like it's something you really want to put a lot of effort into so I feel like whatever this is this may also be some kind of hard work that you're doing, but you're waiting for the recognition. You're waiting for the success. We saw at the bottom that you had the Six of Wands, so I feel like whatever success that you're waiting on, that is coming through. That is on the way. You feel like whatever this energy is, it may be stuck. So, you're feeling like your hard work may be lost. But this is you needing to have patience in this situation, Taurus. Because your hard work is paying off. Whatever you're doing is working. And I feel like, I feel like you're, you're, you're feeling like this is stuck. So, you're feeling like you're doing it wrong. Or you're, you're not, not doing something right in this situation. You feel like something's holding you back, but it's not. You're getting your recognition with this Six of Wands energy at the end. And I feel like when this situation comes through, it's going to make more stable ground for you, more stability. This is also you maybe investing more time, more effort into the situation. But I feel like 
you're on the right path. Now, there may be choices that you need to make. You may be at a crossroads. This may be a hard decision, but you know it needs to be made. Now, you may have a decision between two options, and I know you have several options available, but you may have an option between two. So there may be a hard choice that you need to make, but whatever choice that you make is going to bring you into this new beginning. It's going to bring you into this new journey, this new focused action. Um, and I feel like this is you taking the risk on something that is going to be very valuable to you. This is you taking that leap of faith. Taking action on maybe the path less traveled. You know? And I feel like whatever choice this is, is going to take you into this new beginning. <clears throat> we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So something is definitely not ending at the moment. Some kind of ending has been delayed. It's been stopped. So, I feel like whatever this ending is, whatever this completion is, it's been delayed. Um, this isn't happening just yet. Okay, let's get some more information for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus the next 48 hours? Let's get some more information. The devil. Something's blocking you. Something's blocking you. This also may be you kind of obsessing over this situation. You may be putting too much energy where you need not to, you know. Um, but I feel like with this devil energy, you're definitely doing something that is just a little bit too obsessive. You're kind of overthinking the situation. Something is blocking you to finish this goal, finish this thing that you're working on. But I feel like clarity is coming. The King of Swords, he's going to cut through all the bull. And he's going to get straight down to business, straight down to the truth. And I feel like whatever clarity that you're going to receive is going to come from that King of Swords energy. You're going to get the answers. You're going to get the outcome that you want. You just need to be focused. Definitely, you have the star. So whatever outcome that you're hoping for, you're getting this, this outcome. This is you wishing upon the star, making your wish come true, finding your balance, finding your focus. This is also you having hope in your situation. The star is also miracles happening. Or you being the center of attention, you being the spotlight. Okay, so what else does Taurus need to, to know for the next 48 hours? Okay, the tower. S whatever you're being blocked by, this is going to crumble. This is going to crumble. Your blockages are going to end. They're just going to crumble off, you know. And I, I feel like this tower is happening because you're changing your perspective. Look at this. You're changing your perspective. This is a new beginning coming forward. You have the tower and then you have a new beginning, the Ace of Cups. This new beginning is going to bring you a lot more happiness, a lot more love, a lot more stability. This could also be a new job coming forward. This could be a new relationship coming forward for you. But whatever this is that had to end, a new beginning is right above it. A new beginning is right next to it. So this is beautiful energy. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is give and take. This is equal measure. Someone wants to give you the same amount of energy that you're giving. Uh, someone wants to give you some kind of gift. The Six of Pentacles is give and take you know, equally, generosity, help on the way. So I feel like whatever this is, help is on the way, Taurus. Okay, yeah, we have the Four of Swords. So, yeah, help is on the way, and this gives you 
the opportunity to rest and recover. You're going to have your recovery in whatever the situation is. Because you have this new beginning looming forward. And you're pushing forward to a bigger, better destination. This is you, uh, the universe letting you know that you're on the right path. You're moving in the right direction. This is a new journey that you're going to go on. This also may be you, Taurus, moving into this direction, um, moving to another job, moving to another destination. You may be literally moving, uh, but I feel like this is you moving towards your de destiny. You're moving towards this new beginning, this passionate time. And you have the Ten of Swords, excuse me, the Ten of Wands. So I definitely feel like this is something that is going to bring you more responsibility, of course. But I feel like you're not being overweighted by this opportunity. I feel like you're going to be able to carry the load very easily. You also have the Seven of Wands at the bottom. So I feel like whatever this is, Taurus, you're protecting it. And you're like protecting, protecting it very fiercely. You're setting up your boundaries and you're being very persistent. You may be holding this close to you. You may be not letting people know exactly what you're going through or what's going on. You're holding these secrets to yourself, Taurus. Let's get some Moonology cards. What does Taurus need to know for the next 48 hours? What does Taurus need to know? Look at the bigger picture. Make plans. Look at the bigger picture that's ahead of you, Taurus. Meditate and contemplate. Look within yourself for answers. You'll find that through meditation, through feeling grounded. Align your energy. Um, align your chakras. If you know about your chakras, align your chakras. There's plenty of meditation videos online. Your energy is gaining momentum. So something is coming forward that's pushing you forward. It's helping you grow and expand through the situation step out of your comfort zone okay so yeah in order to see this through you may need to step out of your comfort zone taurus uh, get a better perspective if you set your sight on a goal be persistent go for it you know, concentrate on the things that need to happen. Okay, you may be focused on relationships. And relationship a relationship may be in the works for you. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So if you're open to love, a relationship may be exactly what's going to happen within the next 48 hours. Or this relationship may be healed. We have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, definitely. If this is a relationship, you're going to receive some kind of resolution. Um, but you're going to receive resolution by seeing the other person's point of view. By really... Empathy is all about feeling. It's all about feeling someone else's emotions. We have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You know what? And in life, we fail so many times. But each time that brings us to a new beginning. It brings us to something bigger, something better. And we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So be focused. Be disciplined. In your situation, Taurus, let's get another card. For Taurus, what's going on for the next 48 hours? What's going on for the next 48 hours for Taurus? We have holy love. Spirit wants you to know that you're loved. This could also be the love of, the, of this relationship coming through. I feel like if this is a relationship that you're working on, if this is some kind of conflict that you're going through, your relationship is going to be healed. 
You're going to find healing in this relationship and surrender. Surrender into the divine. Kind of compromising your position and learning experience. Beautiful energy. Whatever this is, you're going to have harmony and resolution. Harmony and resolution is coming forward for you, Taurus. Beautiful. We're going to get uh, a few more cards. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Next 48 hours. Passion. Yeah, I feel like once you receive resolution for the situation, your passion is going to come forward. This could also be new love coming forward. You just need to surrender to the process. But you also have insecurity. So, Taurus, there may be some things that you need to work around with this Eight of Swords energy. There may be insecurities in this situation. You may be holding yourself back from something very important that's about to happen in your life. So, releasing those insecurities through prayer or another avenue, meditation, um, quiet time, introspection... Um, it's going to be very thoughtful for you. It's going to be very helpful. What else do we have for Taurus? Confusion. Yeah, if there's some kind of confusion, at the bottom we have self-worth. So, Taurus, let's work on this. If you're feeling confusion, if you're feeling like you're not worthy of a situation, Taurus... You need to get past those feelings. You are worthy. You are special. You are a beautiful being of God. Of the angels. Of spirit. Of the universe. Um, let's get some more messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for the next 48 hours? What does Taurus need to know for the next 48 hours please? An outcome for Taurus? Yeah. You're going to find out your answers through introspection. This is by surrendering, by sacrificing, by looking at a different perspective. Taurus, you're going to find the answers that you need. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. You're going to find your happy place. You're going to find contentment. But it's going to come with wisdom. This is a learning process. This is something that you had to go through to get to this new beginning this is this is the the ace of wands a new passion new project this is new creation this is you being very assertive taking action um this new beginning is going to bring you some kind of fire it's going to bring you some kind of um Look at this. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. So it's going to bring you out of disappointment, out of insecurity. Um, this is you moving past that energy of feeling heartbroken, doubtful, um, insecure. So I feel like this new beginning is going to bring you through to this change that you need to go through. It's going to bring you through to this new beginning, this new passion that you are, that's ahead of you. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. So, like I was feeling, this may be a work thing, um, but you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So, you're definitely progressing. You're definitely progressing. This is... Still a little bit of work that needs to be done. But this new beginning is going to push you forward into this um, work that needs to be done. This is you mastering some kind of event. This is you finding enjoyment. If this is employment, you're finding enjoyment in your employment again. And I feel like it's bringing you a lot of stability. It's bringing you a lot of good things in your life. This is luxury. This is self-sufficiency. This is financial gain. This is having pleasures in, um, in yourself. 
beautiful energy, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. This is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And um, until the next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.